Hello, dreamers, and welcome to episode five of Anime Podcasters. This is the first podcast of te- of uh, 2016, and today with us we have Jayan Music. How's it going, guys? And we also have Nico Yukihime or Yuki, whatever you want to call me. Hey, dreamers! <laughs> How's it going? What's up? Hey! All right, so <laughs> so uh, since this is the first first podcast of 2016, we Jayan uh, and I decided that we're gonna sort of introduce a, introduce a new format, so let's get started. Yeah, Woo! so uh, I think the first thing is uh, names and channels, just really quickly to introduce ourselves. Yeah. Uh, I, I'll go okay, first. Okay, go first. I'll go first. Yeah, so uh, my name is Giant Music. My YouTube channel is also Giant Music, and that's what I'm going to name my first son. Also, <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I do music on my channel. I do rap. I do uh, covers. I do anime music. Uh, I do podcasts, obviously this. Oh, yeah. And I vlog also. So uh, come and check me out, Giant Music. Uh, you, your, your turn, guys. All right. Um, Alex, go on ahead. <laughs> Hello, guys. I'm NekoYukiHime55, or Yuki for short. Um... For my channel, I'm not doing much. I do have old covers, but I might be coming back with some new ones. I have a DeviantArt where I post a lot of my drawings at, and I think that's it for now. Okay. Right on. That's awesome. And she also is a voice actor. She did Foo for my Samurai Shampoo Bridge, which I will continue to plug until it reaches 100, 100 views. <laughs> We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. It'll and I on. also It'll have, reach. and I also have, an, mm-hmm. like, and you cast me in another role, which I will not talk about right now. Oh, we will. Unless. I will announce that in a minute. But firstly, I want to uh, give a couple of announcements. Firstly, we have an audio download on Bandcamp now with Jayan uh, for anime podcasters. You want to tell them about that, Jayan? Yeah. Yeah. So basically, uh, uh, the deal with that is that. Uh, all the episodes are obviously available on YouTube, but if you guys want to listen to the podcast off the internet because we don't have Wi-Fi everywhere, you can now download the episodes. The link is mascottomelody.bandcamp.com. So it's my Bandcamp. You can go on my channel. It's my Bandcamp. Uh, top link of the description as well. And uh, yeah, uh, we got, we're got we going to have five episodes up uh, uh, of that. It's all of the episodes, and it's a quick download, and it's completely free. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can tip us if you want, and the money will go to uh, – we'll split between all, all of us, obviously. Yeah, well- so yeah, we haven't found a, a way to make a change for a penny yet, but we're working on it. Yeah, we're working on that. <laughs> the next thing is I would like to promote a, another YouTuber's channel, Techno Axe. He produces royalty-free uh, music. You can go just go and download stuff from his channel. There will be a link in the description as well. So he, he does a lot of music, and we're using some of his music for projects because Jayan doesn't know how to do dubstep music yet. Oh, I, I do, but I don't think it's that good. <laughs> He's still uh, beginner, wow. guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, see, music, there's music everywhere. I'm not the only resource. Oh, yeah. He's not the only resource, but he oh, yeah. he, he requires he requires payment of some kind, and I just so happen to pay him in a certain way that it does not involve currency. Oh, my God. I don't even want to. <laughs> <laughs> what were you? Wait. Diane, what, Diane, what were you thinking about? No. Oh, my God, Alex. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get to the topic before it gets too weird. Yeah, um, yeah. Just, uh, just before we get to the topic, last thing I want to bring up is, uh, Jayan is reprising his role as Zabuza for the next episode of Naruto. <laughs> yes, I am back as Na- Zabuza. And, uh, oh my god, Alex! And uh, I'm so excited. Seriously, I'm excited for yeah. that. And Alex, she will be playing um, Haku. Haku will be in the next episode. It'll be great. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> and ha- Zabuza. And Haku in the same podcast wow yeah and naruto uh, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> yes <laughs> and not sasuke we don't want you sasuke, yes, sasuke. get the message <laughs> oh, no. damn you sasuke plushie <laughs> yes <laughs> all right all right, so, all right topic uh do, do you want to introduce the topic tonight i mean it's your topic you're the one who came up with it this is your baby if you feel comfortable enough to leave me your baby i will do it but i think you I are i think the, i'll put this right baby up for adoption it. and give it to jayan because i think <laughs> Also has to all right, all right, all right. Well, <coughs> if this baby, if, if if there's any sort of miscarriage, feel free to what? stop, okay? <laughs> stop me, okay? Oh, my God. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh, go on, Diane. Go on. So the topic is uh, basically we're going to talk about the pros and cons of Japanese anime. We have a list of five pros and five cons, but if, if you, I'm not mistaken. But if either of you come up with an additional one, please feel free to bring it up. 
sure. But it has to be done after we get to get through all of them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely. Uh, I do have one I'll, I'll put at the end. Okay. But, um, and basically, uh, we're going to introduce them one at a time, and we're going to talk to them, and uh, we're going to have a bit... It's going to be a bit of a debate kind of thing, but just an open and informed conversation. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be good. I'm excited for this one. Seriously. All right. So, uh, shall I start off and read the read the list? Yeah, let's do one pro and then one con, like like switch switch oh, okay. like one, oh, okay. set, one at a time. There we go. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh. All right. So the first one is, uh, Jayan. We talked about this one in the first episode. Uh, I <laughs> already know just, this is. But it was just about that one show. But this is about like all shows in general. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, flashbacks is the first uh, um, negative thing that we that I have to say about anime. Or the first con. Con. The first not the not convention. Uh, con as in negative. Yes. <laughs> get get the definition right. Yeah. <laughs> so right. yeah, what do um, you guys have to say about flashbacks? Like, what do you think of? Like, do you think that they're overused, or do you think that they're that they're good as they are, or what? What do you have to say? Let's start with um, Giant. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, on my end, honestly, like cons, uh, 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 not cons, flashbacks. I apologize. <laughs> for me, flashbacks. I do, I, I do uh, uh, agree that there's a lot of animes that overuse um, flashbacks, sure. and that you know, half an episode is an entire flashback. Oh but I do think they have a, a very solid importance and a great. They're a great foundation because without flashbacks, I think you can't dig into the character's past. If you can't go into the character's past, you're not going to be able to relate to them as profoundly. So, so I do believe that flashbacks are a very important thing, but I do understand that you you got to dose them a little bit, you know, not put as much. But honestly, the only anime I can think of that overuses flashbacks is still Naruto. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Yeah. I, may, maybe it's because I don't know that many animes as outside of Naruto. I use uh, use too many flashbacks, but I do believe Naruto is the really the, the the kingpin of the of the over usage of flashbacks. But yeah, that's my opinion. Uh, Yuki, do you want to go next? Uh, yeah. It really does hold a important significance to something, but if it gets used too much, then it's just like okay, there's there's a flashback. In a way, it's like a puzzle. You put the pieces together, and once you get the big picture, you it can go either way. I like yeah. the analogy like, of a like puzzle. Like that was a good good way to explain it. <laughs> but like, I just feel like a flashbacks. It's like it's not that it's not that big of a con i find i mean i don't think it's like the biggest con out there i just think it's it's a, it's a light one maybe it is for like one or two animes but i don't i don't feel like it's that big of a deal like i i i enjoy flashbacks i'm going to put it out there uh i don't know if the four kids koalas are going to attack me <laughs> but i do believe that uh flashbacks are very important to the story without flashbacks what do you got okay present time and then whatever happens in the next episode what if you're going to start complaining about flashbacks are you going to start complaining about in the next episode blah 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 Blah, blah, blah. Oh no! I didn't want to know what's in the next episode. I think they're powder part of the the foundation of anime, and I think you need them. It's like, uh, it's no. I just think they're very important. So yeah, maybe it might be a con if you. It's only a con if you overuse it. That's my yeah. Opinion. yeah it's only I a con if you overuse it. It goes back to, for me, it goes back to like Naruto. Like they would replay the same flashback over and over and over. Like the, oh the most famous ex, the most famous example that I can think of is the tuning exam arc with Lee, like his flashback was being played over and over, like for five episodes straight. It was, it was going on. Like it drove me insane. I liked the, I liked it the first time. I thought it was a wonderful way for us to get to know Lee, like his childhood and what, and the reason he was the way he was. No, for sure. I think I got worse than that. Like it, it ship, ship I mean, I think they had like 80 episodes straight of just flashbacks. Oh just yeah. Flashbacks for like 80 Dude. episodes. I was like, Bro, I was so into this series, and then I'm like skipping to like it episode felt like 200. An, it I don't felt know like what. another story entirely when they did when they did that. Yeah, I know. I agree. The cat of this I feel like Naruto. It's like 50 percent flashbacks. I, like, I guess that not, I guess the only reason I put flashbacks on there was because of Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I were to put like, like ten, con, con. ten pros and cons of Naruto, then flashbacks is number one, definitely. <laughs> 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 the manga yeah. actually ha- handles it a lot better. Like the. I guess the reason is because it's a it's a book. Uh, we're switching it to manga podcasters. <laughs> <laughs> Today's reading chapter, chapter one. one. Flashback. <laughs> no. <laughs> no chapter one. Naruto Sasuke. <laughs> <laughs> chapter two. Sasuke. <laughs> Naruto Sasuke. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I actually everyone. just saw an episode of Naruto this morning. I was like, that is exactly what the Japanese actor for Naruto sounds like. Ask <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Let's do the next pro. Yeah, let's go to the pro. So yeah, this kind of ties in with flashbacks actually. Um out of the box storytelling. What do you guys have to say about that? Out of the box story, like outside the box, Let's like see. unique storytelling, like the way that they tell stories is different from, like say Western TV or something. No, I understand. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I, the first thing I can think of, uh, when I just see the words "out of the box" and storytelling, I, I think of um, the. I don't know. I know that Kiel doesn't like them as much, but the Death Note movies. It's all, were, it, I, I only disliked. That, you know, I it, only disliked relit visions of a god. The other ones are fine. That's okay, the only one. Well, I the hated. other one, I don't I like them because they tell a story, and they're. Out, and I think Death Note is just one of the most out of the box uh, animes out there. Um, just the entire concept is like beautiful uh, in its own like d- destructive way. <laughs> but like, I, I think, I think that uh, that that would be the main one I, I could think of. I really do appreciate it because there's so many animes out there. I, I think it comes to like any topic out there, like and when it comes to movies, music, art, whatever. When it's out of the box, when it's fresh, it's so much more enjoyable. Like I started watching Dead Man Wonderland. I'm at the episode. Oh, three you're right watching now, it. And I absolutely love. I'm watching Dude, it. I'm yes. watching it right now. I got. Yes, yes, we can, we can podcast about oh it later on. Oh my gosh, on. please, um, yes. And, yeah, 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 yeah. No, th- don't worry. This is Sorry, the, that is I one of my favorite like shows of, of all day. time. It is one of the best anime. Yeah, no, I started planet. watching it. I started wa- My friend suggested it to me. I was like, all right, yeah, I'm going to watch this. But yeah, uh, like Dead Man Wonderland, I'm hooked. Why? It's outside of the box. It's storytelling is good as well. So yeah, that's what I think. I think I can really appreciate animes that are outside of the box because so many of them, it's like, oh, bad guy, good guy, fight, good guy wins, bad guy loses. Dragon Ball. That's it, you know? Combat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically Mortal Kombat or Dragon Ball. <laughs> so what do you think of? <laughs> oh God! Uh, what do you think of Mortal Kombat? I mean, uh, uh, outside of the box of storytelling. <laughs> I honestly think that the ones that apply to out of the box storytelling are Dead Man Wonderland uh, and either of the Full Metal Alchemist uh, series uh, uh, and Death Note. De- de- yeah, definitely Death Note. But it, it it does suffer from the recap syndrome that Naruto does. Like last time, last time, that's, on a, that's the only that's the only problem I really had with Death Note. There are quite a few shows out there that are really out of the box and really really good that they deserve their own like American movie. It's just unique. Like the uh, Full Metal Alchemist is very unique in the sense that it's it's a science or technically it's a science. It's a science that most people don't know exist. And so it's uh, sort of adapted into a story. If you guys haven't heard of this, there's a Naruto spinoff show about Rock Lee. Oh, yeah. It's uh, Rock Lee and Pals. I could be wrong. but <laughs> It right. sounds very no. Jewish, but it's actually really, really funny. No, it's Rock, Lee, it it's Rock it Lee and his ninja pals. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's cool. And it's not even made by the guy who makes Naruto. It's made by another gal who... I don't think she had permission to do it, but it actually took off, so it got pretty popular. Or, right or on. if you want, like, another title of it, it's Rock Lee's Springtime of Youth. <laughs> that sounds it's got a lot very of interesting. Rock-ish. It's got a lot of interesting different titles. Yes. Personally, like, <laughs> but, but yeah, that's, a, like, that's what I have to say about out-of-the-box storytelling. Like, J- Japan has so many interesting, so many interesting ideas that I don't think some American audiences can come up with. <laughs> Yeah. No, I agree. Or, or writers, whatever. Uh, Alex, you want to go next? I agree. I just can't exactly explain it right now. Like my my mind is like it's all it's all good. It's all yeah, good. Yeah, there. I'm it's there sorry. In your mind, but you can't figure it out. No, it's okay. It's okay. Just, uh, just some of these I'm looking at the list right now. Like, I'm not gonna say what they are, but like some of these I'm like, what am I gonna say? Yeah, I don't, <laughs> even, I I don't know say? what to say. I made this list. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, I know. This. Kale, your your IQ is too high for us. Stop, oh, Stop it! Stop it! You <laughs> feel dumb. Oh, shucks. Oh, oh, shucks. <laughs> Did he even have to try? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shucks. All right. <laughs> Con number two before I get attacked. This one, I think, applies to almost every single show, so I think no, no show can avoid this. Overuse of exposition. And for those of you who don't know what exposition is, it's basically uh, sort of catching you up to speed. Like, it's when... For example, there's a scene in Naruto where Naruto's like, "Oh, I forget what cha- I forget what chakra is," and I just sat there saying, "Okay, audience, listen up." 
This is what this is for you guys. It's not for the story. It's like then she goes on to explain the what the chakra is. It's it's basically stuff for the audience to understand, not for the characters to understand. Okay. Does that make I any sort sense? Of have, and I, yeah. I sort of understand it. Um, I'm not gonna have too much to say about that. Um, I don't. I don't necessarily agree that that is a con. I don't think it is that much of a con. I think it's, uh, once again, a necessity, kind of like the flashbacks. Like, I do agree that too many flashbacks, but uh, I think you need to break that fourth wall with the audience so that the audience can understand. I do understand that if you're, like, a huge super fan of the show, you know, you're going to want to, like, you're going to be like, oh, my God, like, how do you not understand what Chakra is? Blah, 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 blah. But you, when you have an audience for an anime, you have the super fans, the casuals, the people who tune in once every uh, blue moon. <laughs> so you got to really break that fourth wall for everyone. So I do think that exposition needs to be overused to some sort of extent. That's what I think. I think that it is overused. Like some let's just say somebody's like, as you well know, it's just like that's the cue for the audience to pay attention. <laughs> like if you start mm -hmm. up a sentence that says, as you well know, if I already know, why are you telling me? Sometimes they don't have they can't they don't need to read it out of like the wiki or something. They could explain it through like a visual or something, or they could go back and show a flashback. <laughs> <laughs> it ju it just bothers me when a show just says uh, this is for the audience to understand because you could be spending that time showing it instead of telling watch a movie than uh, to read a book to somebody in my opinion like just in my mm. opinion I don't mind books it's just that I prefer movies. Oh, I guess it's Alex's turn now Alex I choose you use answer I think she just <laughs> denied your request <laughs> Pokemon denied Pokemon, Pokemon denied, it, Pokemon it, Pokemon denied. Time a girl denied no me. it was not effective uh, <laughs> um, I gotta go with like Diane said, like, it's not much of a, um, as a con. It could be, but it's just like, there are people that I know that are part of the, a, a part of a fan base, like, not from the beginning, but it, to, mm -hmm. like, in the middle. So, like, those, it's kind of like, it catches you up to speed. It's like, when you're in a class, you're just like, w what am I supposed to learn? What is this? And they explain it to you about, like, what this is. If, like, Somebody says, as you all know, like what you have been saying, Kyo, it's like, yeah, I already know this. So why am I even why am I even hearing this again? It's also for it's also <laughs> for people that like forgot helps them getting catch up to speed of what they've forgotten. To me, it's the equivalent of like, say, a class watched a movie. And then the next day somebody missed that class. You either show that person the key points of the movie or just show them the whole thing outright. Instead of explaining to them, because sometimes it doesn't come across as as well, like maybe there's a key point that you that you missed or like you just show key scenes that you need to know. So j just to me, it's like picking out the picking out the bones of what you don't need. Nice. Unless unless you're as long as you're eating whatever the the bones ha are on. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> the meat for the most. Yeah, I think you just insulted every single vegetarian watching this I'm podcast. Sorry. For you vegetarians. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, right. so, uh, okay. My sister's a vegetarian, okay. second so pro, it's fine. <laughs> second pro, second pro, second pro. Okay, GoPro Kyo is going to give us the second pro. There is only one pro. It is the Kyo. <laughs> yeah. And there is the okay. Yuki. He's been dying to use that line. <laughs> I've been waiting for that, actually. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I know you have. So waiting. I can tell I was in your so voice. Waiting, waiting for that this morning. <laughs> All right. Uh, I can't wait to the see second this. pro for anime is unique designs. Like, say, let's compare. Let's say, let's compare a design from, like, say, Lord of the Rings. Let's compare Frodo to, like, an anime character's design or something. Like, see, you don't. Have I'm to, not visually adept. You, <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to compare. I'm, I'm just saying, like, just imagine the thought of, like, just say, uh, I don't know, like an elf. Like, just think of a western version of an elf and then think elf? of a uh then think, then think of an anime character crazy hair pops um, into your head immediately <laughs> you yeah you see i this is why i have you doing the artwork for my projects because i'm not visually adept i'm not very in tune with that entire side of anime if it looks pretty with colors <laughs> I'm, I'm well served so um, I mean, I do understand that if the the, the more it's unique, once again, the better it's going to mm -hmm. be. But uh, yeah, I don't I don't have too much I can add to this because, like I said, I mean, uh, I'm I'm an audio guy, so what I do, when I when I listen to to anime, is I'm going to point out, oh, oh, they heard they use this type of uh, microphone or oh, this type of sound effect, all oh, this type oh, of yeah, for sure. in the vocals. 
So I'm not really in tune with the visuals. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this to you two. This is gonna be more of your well, field. A- Alex isn't. You guys Alex both draw. Artist, so. so I saw one of her drawings before we got on here, dude. Dude, you got a rival. Oh yeah. <laughs> actually, she actually. I drew. I drew that like a few months back. So I might. I, so I improved a lot more than I have. She really has. I uh, saw you, what, you, what she drew for uh, Felicia's channel that she's or that she's working on coloring. It's really good. It's a, I think it's a lot more anime ish than what I draw. I draw cartoonish. <laughs> is the drawing just like one big coin? Oh, I'm <laughs> I hate you right we now. We had a com- uh, just you. to catch everybody up to you. speed. I hate you. We had a conversation, and somehow the word coin was used in there, and we have been teasing each other about it ever since. Diane, uh, though, Diane was the reason why it became a thing in the first place. <laughs> because you kept no, saying no, a I never lot in a coin. lot. I kill jokes. Oh my god! All right, you guys, what do you think of unique designs? Um, I'm gonna let Alex go first on this one. Well, for unique designs, I really like character designs can be original. There are times when people, uh, like, whenever there's like two characters that are very similar to one another, I really like how it can be like very original. And there are times when, like, I get annoyed when people, like, accuse one another of, like, stealing, like, ideas of a character. You stole my idea. Like, I I totally agree with that, because I actually, uh, sometimes when I watch an abridged series, I'll see a joke, and I'm like, I want to use that joke. But it doesn't seem fully complete, like, sometimes people will, like, have a parody and they'll have a good line, but the rest of the the video is just not that great. Like, make it, like, more funnier. Yeah, like, I, I actually took this one joke for a video that we're working on. And I'm like, I want to improve on that. I want did, to add did to that. Did somebody like call you out on that? But I I think I think that a did someone call you out on that or something? No, 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 no. I just uh, if you can take something that is good and make it better, then I say do it, because like we're like America, like Hollywood itself is running out of ideas for movies, and they're just adapting comics and Star Bunch Wars Bob. and. Uh, shows that were back in the 80s or something. Yes, and, and Family Bob, Guy. And Bob, Family Bob, Guy. I've realized this is about Family Bob, Guy. Big. I love Family Guy. I love guy. Family Guy too. Yeah. <laughs> I think Family Guy's had its it time. I <laughs> love it. Best Netflix yeah. show ever. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that as long as you can bring something new to something, as long or bring something new to an idea, then I think you should just go for yeah. it. For sure. No. Like even if other people, even if other people have done it, are we heading for uh, uh, con number three? Or wait, oh yeah, cons. Right, we're, st- yeah, we're con- going to long. In- oh, okay, sorry, this I was is about one. To say, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is one that I just. That's okay. You're good. This is one that I just recently realized. Um, so here in America, or I think in, I don't know if if what sort of broadcasting you get up there, Jayan, but um. You there's a very long introduction scene. Some song, some uh, some introductions are a minute and a half. Uh, for us, we have ones that are like forty seconds long or thirty seconds, or the longest is a minute. Like, do you ever? Do you guys ever find that sometimes the introductions go on too long? Because I do find myself skipping through uh, through certain songs or like certain uh, opening songs. Like when Attack on Titan changed their, uh, changed their intro song, I skipped it every mm-hmm. single time because I liked the first one so much more. Um, see the thing with that one, is, I think it's a quick solve because uh, for me, I watch all my anime on the internet, and if I don't want to listen to the song, I just skip ahead and I don't deal with that issue. Oh I, oh, I do too. It's just like for those people who do watch it on like Toonami or on like a, on cable or something. Do you find that it would that it's a uh, that it's annoying? I think it's a uh, I think it's another essential part. I think uh, I think that the the introduction credits because uh, you got to remember the uh, you have the the casuals, the super fans, and the person who's tuning in for the very first time. You know, so you need that introduction music. So sure. once again, you got to cater to all audiences, and that's why uh, you got to you know maybe it's not the best benefit. It's not the best thing to have uh, r- right then and, and there for like the super fan who's seen it like twenty thousand times and he knows it by heart and he covered it on YouTube. I don't know what um, I think I think it's important <laughs> to have still because you might not you never know if you have a new person coming in I do I, I once again maybe yeah it can be a con for a super fan who's like oh my god I've heard this a million times and I don't want to hear it again but that's, that's unless like, you're like <laughs> unless like you're, you're like super into like <laughs> it, like super into like the song like yeah. you would find yourself singing along yeah, I, I find that I like a lot like, of the... Like, you find yourself singing along. Uh, 
SpongeBob SquarePants. I do. I do okay. actually. I do actually <laughs> find. What did you just say? SpongeBob SquarePants. No, stop it. No, SpongeBob. It's animation. Is not anime. <laughs> it's not anime. It's not yet. <laughs> it's, it, it, it is anime. Oh, <laughs> oh, I think I think wait, I saw wait, fan art of that one. What? That's amazing. <laughs> what? I, I think there's SpongeBob anime fan That's art out thing? there somewhere. I'm looking it up right now. I'm, I'm sure you could find it. Just, I, I'm sure you could find it. Everything's been animized or some animation. And, or Jeff no, and oh Jeff my god! I mean, you can't find the word. Sorry, that was really. I I have no oh, words for the for this creation. Oh my god! <laughs> but what do you guys think? If I had to like conclude on my thing, I do believe that uh, I love music, so I think it's essential. I I just think you need it, regardless if it pisses off people. You need it because <clears> you never know if you're gonna have that first time viewer. That's true. Well, like, even for fee- for the first time viewers, I think that maybe like, uh, how would you like to have like a two and a half minute long? Uh, oh, okay. I don't think any show is gonna have a two That's minute uh, and a half long opening. <laughs> and I have another part I want to <laughs> add. Okay, when I hear a song, when I hear okay. a song in Julian, if I like it, it gets me stoked. Whenever you hear that song, you think of the show. It gets you stoked right at the beginning of the show, and then you're way more into it when the show starts. So I think once again, it is essential because. I mean, it sets the mood, you know? It's like, it's that, it's that little candle on your first date, you know? It sets the mood. You need it. Yeah, I just made that comparison. Whatever. <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> like, as a music lover myself, as well, um, I actually don't find it annoying. If anything, I find it... Okay, maybe it's just me, then. <laughs> if anything, I find it really cool, because, like, n- first... Here's the thing is that in when it comes to openings, I get really fascinated with the music and or the animation of the opening. So that uh, what we were just talking about intro is actually ties into the next pro is intense animation. Oh, love it. <laughs> so love it. intensity is awesome. It is always awesome. Um, basically, what I'm trying to ask here is like. Uh, how do you guys feel about like when the animation goes from just okay, like it's just like I don't know, say Edward Elric just walking around chatting with Al Alphonse, and then Homunculi shows up, they start duking it out, the animation looks so much better, they're moving faster, they're or they're moving faster, they're slowing it oh. down so you can see him dodge the blade or something, or like how do you guys feel about uh feel about the way that it, that it's animated got, like during fight scenes or something? I get really freaking excited when it comes to like that kind of like like when there's that one moment where like the intense animation comes in because it's just like holy shit like it's just like I don't know why I, I guess I know why I just can't explain it but like whenever like it's just something that's casual the next moment bam it's just like it goes to from like meh to like badass animation whatever like if there's like a fight or like a certain moment that's like really really cool to me i'm just like oh, yes and, and i just but, intensity uh, intensity, intensity. <laughs> yes I, I, I am a very big fan when it comes to animation so i'm just like yes that's awesome for me like uh when it comes to intense animation i love it uh i love it where whether it be like uh if a character's facial expression intensifies or gets really crazy or if it's a fight scene i love anything that has to do with intense animation that is why i'm watching dead man wonderland okay i love intensity i love intense animation so yeah no (laughs) yeah it's a great great pro (laughs) best pro ever I am pro this pro. I'm so pro this pro. I'm going to become GoPro Go Giant. Go Giant. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm join making, the GoPro. Yeah. Dude, you do have a we're GoPro making that a thing now. Year. I do have a GoPro. I do not have a GoPro. What? <laughs> and, you, and yet you call yourself GoPro Keo. Austin has a GoPro. <laughs> no. I just steal that whenever I have to. All right, everyone okay. Has, I have to GoPro. There. Everyone hashtag GoPro Giant. <laughs> oh, my God. I think there's going to be like two tweets. <laughs> Max. <laughs> Two tweets, Max, yeah. <laughs> and one of them being Austin and the other one being Dreaming Studios. Oh, oh, yeah. no, no, no. Everyone, 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 if you guys have a ch- and if you guys have the chance to do this, be sure to put in co in two uh, like two K sixteen. Please do that. Oh my god. 
<laughs> oh, oh my god <laughs> but yeah uh, uh, to conclude my point intense animation i love it i think it's a great pro i think that it's something that um just brings the life to the anime uh, more even more than the music i don't know it's it's, it's not even the when the, the animation intensifies i find that the audio intensifies too it's just everything intensifies the uh, the 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 fight climaxes uh, it's insane and it's it's just super enjoyable for a viewer it's great love it so believe it or not anime is actually a very cheap art form in japan like the the animators get probably the lowest end of the stick because they have to like it's basically like storyboards with just additional in-betweens which which surprisingly surprisingly looks good but um <clears throat> uh like so, something in like dragon ball z they will that's when the animators get to have fun they, they get to show more frames show less frames it just change the speed and the uh, just the way that the animation flows and moves like with music or with sound effects or with like with voice acting <clears throat> it's uh those are easily my favorite parts like one of my favorite uh favorite scenes in most in almost any anime is a scene in dead man wonderland which i will not spoil because i don't know where Diane is or where uh alex is <laughs> I haven't even started yet. You need to. I, need I to. will when Go I have it. time. Now. I don't now. have time. Now, now. Go do it. Kill! <laughs> Just get off the podcast Kill! and go. <sighs> intensity. <laughs> yes. Hashtag intensity, That's going to be a great people. audio clip I'm to sorry. have. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I hope that doesn't intensity. ruin stuff for you. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Right, it's all good. To, it's go all good, post. man. Yeah. All right. Um, but um, any other comments? Let's do the next one. I think I think I'm good. Yeah, I don't know. Good, For me, yeah. I'm good. This is my con. Um, I really I find that the, in terms of scenery, the place that I see all the time in anime, all the time, and I'm, I'm not that I'm sick of it, but I'm like, why is it that it always has to be this? Oh my gosh, I know um, exactly. I what see you're gonna schools say. all the time in anime. <laughs> I see schools all the time. Uh, in Naruto, there's a school. In Dragon Ball Z, there's there's school. Death Note, there's a school. Yu Yu Hakusho, there's a school. Everywhere. Uh, I mean, even uh, Dead Man Wonderland, there's some some school. It's always students. It's always school. It's always that sort of scenery. And not that I'm sick of it, but it's like, can you not invent anything else? Can and can this not? Is this always the the place where it has to be? Like really? Like this? Is this it really? That's that's I how you were gonna say it. forests. When you said that forests too, no, but schools, schools. Yeah. I really schools. I, I guess they're trying to make their characters relatable to their the demographic that they're shooting for. Like a lot of like here in America, and I think a lot of uh, Japan, and of course in Canada for you, Jayan. Um, for who? For you. <laughs> um, mm. Who? That who? they're trying to market to the shut up, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're trying to market to the teenage demographic like this is this guy is like this guy could be you or that like I, I, I don't think they're doing it very well but I think that's their idea I could be wrong I don't know <laughs> with the scenery like with the schools it's kind of more relatable like the reason why there's a school in Naruto is because that the creator uh, Kishimoto like basically the story took place like uh, back when he wa when Kishimoto himself, the creator of Naruto, was like younger, which is why, like in the in the future, which makes sense because I think a lot of us, I think a lot of us agree uh, relate to that. Like a lot of our struggles happened in school because everybody had to go through school. <laughs> no, I see what you mean. That's really interesting. Um, I think uh, I think that covers it. Uh, moving on to uh, pro number four. Okay, so pro number four is. Adult themes slash lessons, uh, some for kids. So basically, uh, I think what the, this point really represents is that uh, through anime, this uh, this product that a lot of kids, a lot of teens listen to, it, it teaches valuable lessons to the youth, and there is something to learn. It's not just a, a TV show. It's also a source of inspiration and something that can bring positivity into someone's life. Uh, if I may go first, I'd like to say that uh, one lesson and one sort of adult theme that I've learned through, uh, thanks to Naruto, um, it was a, a particular scene. I've mentioned this in the in the first podcast, oh, yeah. but it was a. Uh, Right after uh, Shikamaru became a Chunin and he was having uh, this conversation with Choji 
And Eno, and Eno kind of like let to Chojino like, uh, no girls is gonna want to date a guy like you because because uh, you're you're big and you and you and you're uh, and you're fat. And you're, uh, <laughs> you're fat. Yeah, I don't want to say that words because Choji's gonna knock me no, out. That's okay. But um, <laughs> uh, and then uh, I'll protect and you, then guys. um, we'll protect <laughs> you. you. And then Pro- uh, you know, <laughs> Eno protect walks, Giant um, Club. Eno walks off. Yes, hashtag protect Giant Club. Proceed, Giant. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, after that, Eno walks off, and uh, Shikamaru comes in, and he's like, "Oh, I don't, I don't agree with her. Um, I, I, I prefer a little more meat on my women myself." I think that's what he said. Yeah. Uh, and then the conversation kind of went along like, um, um, uh, "Shikamaru's like, I'm just being me. I'm just being myself." And that stuck to me so hard that I still remember it. And I, th- I feel like uh, Naruto's teached me to be myself, not copy other people, not change myself to uh, appeal to other people. I just want to be myself and accepted for who I am, what I do, and through. Throughout all my life, I've always, uh, I've kind of like uh, had that point and a, a, a reminder for myself. So that's one theme and one uh, lesson I've learned thanks to anime. What about you guys? This is a, this is one that I highly, highly believe in. Like whether it's, uh, whether, whether it's like poke, like I, even though I don't think Pokemon is the greatest of shows, I think that it sometimes does have a good lesson to, to give to children in America or uh, I don't know about Japan. I don't know, like four kids is trying <laughs> four kids, four kids is trying to just tries to take out whatever they think uh, kids can't handle. And I think kids can handle a lot more than than what we give them credit for. <clears throat> but um, I, I personally learned quite a quite a lot from my first anime. I learned uh, <clears throat> I learned to j- j- just be open and be myself when I was growing up in uh, high school because I. I didn't grow up with any friends. I had this one friend that wasn't even really much of a friend. He was more just like somebody that I knew in my in my uh, mom's uh, family, friends or whatever. And uh, through through anime and video games and stuff like that, I learned uh, I, I, I learned to just be myself and just come out of my shell and not just stay in my room all the time. Just drawing, because if you draw by yourself and not share with anybody, then you're not going to learn to learn to interact with people and you need to interact with people in order to survive in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what I, that's what I have to say about, uh, there's adult themes and lessons in some, in quite a few shows that I will recommend. We do also have a recommendation thing at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. All right. So for life's life lessons, um, there is other than Naruto, I think the other show that I feel gives out really good life less uh, life lessons um well my in, in my opinion is fairy tale have you guys oh ever, yeah for sure have okay. you guys ever watched fairy tale he saw like <laughs> giants seen, i haven't like, one episode i saw the first episode but, uh, yeah no not my cup of tea <laughs> unless you really get into it it's like I, really good like um yeah it did so it's not for everybody <laughs> yeah it's not for everyone but like not everything is for everybody <laughs> It's not E for everyone. Wise quote. No, it's, ra- it's <laughs> rated M for mature, Jayanne. <laughs> uh, I, I can't watch in that case. You'll, you'll, you'll never enough. get to watch it. <laughs> oh, I'm almost man. there. Uh, it's okay. I'm not mature either. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Sorry, let's go ahead. <laughs> so in fairy tale, there's like a lot of life lessons for, and there are some, there is even some lessons that even the characters learn learn from themselves for example the main um the main protagonist um natsu um he's kind of he, he's cool he's really cocky he's like like but he's good kind of cocky he's very naruto like <laughs> <laughs> who breathes out fire or there's like a point where he didn't know much about um fear and there was like um there was like one point where he understands fear it's kind of complicated to explain but i feel that he realizes that like fear you know it could make one strong like it with fear it could also help you like become stronger like you know how like when you feel like that sort of fear and then with that fear you can turn it into like strength i believe that natsu found a way to like use that kind of strength to protect his friends and there is one lesson that I've um that I actually keep um within my heart at times whenever things go rough is when my favorite character um Juvia 
who was formerly a villain, but now is part of Fairy Tail because and there was a certain fight that she has with another villain in one arc, and it was a talk about like how like and the villain was gonna like sacrifice themselves for another person to make them feel at ease. But that would mean also killing the person that they accuse of that person's pain. It's kind of difficult to explain, but the character Juvia, she says how um, to live for the people that you love. And if you have love, then you must live. Those in le- that lesson made me realize that there is like a lot of people that um, that I love and care for. And the reason why I haven't even um, thought about, like, I haven't gave up yet is because of those people who believe in me and love me as much as I love them. So, so those kinds of lessons um, are really important, especially when it's like through someone that you feel kind of like relatable to. Right on, right on. Yeah, no, I totally agree with what you're saying. It's... It's crazy how like a TV show can be so profound to someone. It's just it's it's insane. For those of you who have you guys have either of you guys watched South Park like the uh, uh, the Imagination Land saga? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, I don't think I saw that one. No, I haven't. Well, like the the gist of it is like the guys go into this imagination world and they have a debate at the end of the end of the show, like whether or not if these characters are real so that they can like destroy the, destroy the place from terrorists. Don't ask. Oh, I seen this yeah, one. This, oh, I yeah, love that. So episode. Like the end of the, towards the end of the episode, they say how some fictional characters are more real than, than the people like say, sometimes people might say that Luke Skywalker is more inspirational to them than, uh, Abraham Lincoln or, or, uh, just, just anybody in, uh, real history. That's not fiction. They sometimes they don't leave as big of an impression as a fictional character does. Like I think this definitely applies to anime. Austin, the guy who plays Sasuke, he says he he told me like when we first uh, started hanging out that Naruto is part of the reason the way he is. Like because he he and uh, Dago, the guy who plays uh, Tazuna, they uh, they both grew up with it. They grew up watching it together. They grew up watching the show until uh, Shippuden started, like when they were kids. And that's what, and that's uh, the way that that's the reason that uh, Austin is so uh, energetic, and he's always he's always he's always a happy-go-lucky person. Okay, he's right a very on. Persistent man. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> very persistent, <laughs> persistent ginger. Oh my god! Shame that he's okay, not. Let's do con number four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That we had a lot to say four. about that one. Actually, I, I kind of wanted one. to yeah, like <laughs> bring up a a sort of a con. It's one of my pet peeves as um as a writer. Um. It is lack of character development. Some shows do that. Quite a few anime just do that. I think this one. I think this one is a very good con to talk about. No, for sure. I completely agree. Okay, with you. Yeah, absolutely. so I think that there are some shows like they have so ma- like anime has good and bad, like just about everything. And when you have sort of a bad show, you have like stock characters, like you have the the emo type, or you have the happy type, or you have the I will never give up type. Like you, it's you've seen that a hundred thousand times. Oh yeah. And unless you bring something new to that, yeah, we've seen the we've seen the emo, we've seen the Sasuke archetype everywhere. It is so irritating. <laughs> All are you exactly? <laughs> Did you just say Oreos? I'm sorry, Alex, I interrupted you. It's Oreos. okay. Um, said, no, overused, overused. <laughs> but I want Oreos. <laughs> I want what? Oreos now. I'm, now I'm hungry, you guys. Me too. All right. So as I was, I said overused. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm talking. Um, <laughs> the thing about um character developments, uh, like lack of character developments, or character development that's been down the drain. Sometimes it gets me so mad because. No, it really does get me la- mad a lot. What am I saying? Um, because a certain character can show a bit of... Like, a character who has had a lot of character development can show a sign of significance. Shows to, like, be a good example. Unless the character development goes away. And I've seen that quite a few times. And a lot more recently. So... It just makes me feel kind of irritated to see that happen because there were once a really good character whose character char- great character development went down the drain. It just makes me feel that it just makes me believe that there's a lot that character development can do 
rather than just like being flushed down the drain and not be thought about again. No, I, I do agree. I do agree with what you're saying. I do believe that characters, a lot of characters, it's like the archetype is there and then they just fill the mold and it's just that and there's no more. It doesn't go any deeper than that. And that makes for crap anime. It makes for really bad anime. I don't enjoy it as much. I, I completely agree with that point. Con number five is my favorite con. <laughs> like I said earlier. Anime is actually a very cheap art form in Japan. Like, some people here, like, they revered, It is an amazing way of telling stories. You just don't understand the medium. You ever meet those people? Uh, I don't, oh, yeah. but I do understand what <laughs> yeah, you're saying. Yeah, like, there's people who are like, it's amazing. I'm like, it's animated with, like, seven frames in, like, one second or something, dude. It's not, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's my thought. I just think that, like, this isn't, this is fact, but I just want to know what you guys think of it, because... If you were to look at a American show versus a Japanese show, one, you could tell the difference instantly. Uh, for me, I mean, once again, I'm not visually adept. I don't, I can't tell the difference right away. I can't tell if it's Japanese or American right away unless I Google it. Um, <laughs> unless you Google uh, it. But I do understand that, like, yeah, so, uh, Google it. Hashtag <laughs> Google it. Um, but if you don't, uh, if you, if you, uh, you like for you and uh, and for Alex, you guys are more visually adept. So right away you look at that, you're like, oh, it's under animated. I can't believe they cut that corner. I don't appreciate that. You know, I actually really like this show. It pisses me off. I understand that. But for me, um, okay, let's yeah, say what think. it's like, not that big of a deal. How do you feel about I, Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm getting to that. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I was going to get to that. Uh, uh, let's flip it around. Let's say they make a crappy audio job. Then I'm going to be like, oh, what the hell is happening? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm not going to be happy about yeah. that. <laughs> so I do understand what you're saying. Basically, if you're cutting corners, you're cheating out your audience. And if you're cheating out your audience, you're not going to get far. That's what I think. Yeah. Alex, what do you think? This is basically a talk uh, like, oh, my God, where do I begin? Uh, <laughs> um, At the beginning, silly. Oh my god, I hate when people say that. It's like, <laughs> of course it's not the beginning. Anyway. I'm sorry. Shut Go up, ahead. yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> anyway, so with um animation, when it if it gets like if it's like really badly animated, I'm just like, it's either I get really mad about that, or I just see it as a joke. Like, mm. for example, mm-hmm. there's like this one episode with um Rockley and Pals in in Ninja Pals. Mm-hmm. And there's like this certain episode where they make a joke how like the animators are like slowly giving up and just like do like crappy <laughs> animations. And I haven't I'll, seen the whole show. I need to see that episode, dude. <laughs> I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> actually, it's oh, a, it's it, actually it's the it's it was the last episode. Oh. It's a, it's actually the last <laughs> episode, which is why like they came up with the joke of like bad animation. Yeah. <laughs> It is a really funny show, Jane. <laughs> yeah, it. you should. Oh, Orochimaru, yeah. just, Orochimaru just wears like a out. freaking like Hawaiian shirt, <laughs> and like that's hysterical. Oh, my God. Um, either way, it's either I get really irritated by the bad animation if it was like just there and people start saying how good it is. If there's like a bad animation that was meant for like comedy materials, I would just laugh at it. <laughs> because I know that they're do- because I uh, because I would know they did that on purpose because I would know they would do that on purpose and I'm just like oh my god <laughs> it's a, it's it's like Ego Raptor doing like his animation like really awkwardly <laughs> like it's it, it it's it's supposed to be stupid but when it's done to to kind of fool the audience <laughs> like I know where like I know why studios do it it's to save money but. The animators get such low pay. Animation is kind of a bad job to get in Japan, but here in America, you get a pretty decent pay, which is why I, which is why I want to be an American animator, not a Japanese oh, animator. Wow. <laughs> uh, this is the one that I think um, is uh, is sort of a loving send up to the people who who watch anime and they find comfort in it, or they like some. Sometimes people have said this anime helped me get through a bad time. So I'm just saying that the pro is that fans are so dedicated, mm-hmm. even if it's the even if it's the really annoying guys who are like, it's the superior art form. Um, at least they're passionate about it. So basically dedicated fan bases. Is yes. What you're saying. Yes. OK. Um, 
I love being part of a dedicated fan base. I think dedicated fan bases are why the re- like basically the reason why this podcast even exists because we're we love anime. We're dedicated to it in some sort of way. Uh, we're engaged with this uh, art form and uh, we uh, feel the need to discuss about it. So I mean, we're dedicated. We're a dedicated fan base. This, this that's an example of it. I do believe that I love uh, uh, that dedicated fan bases are the reason why anime runs so well because without a fan base, you're not gonna get far. So yeah, I completely agree with you that. So, Something that's really enjoyable, a very important uh, factor in anime, and uh, yeah, I am definitely, I can definitely identify myself in many different fan bases of different animes, mm-hmm. and uh, no, I agree with that. Good, good, good way to finish it. This this pro is mm-hmm. uh, is really good. It's not necessarily just a pro about like the animation. It's just the the people who watch it are what make it what make it special. Worth it. Yeah, Alex, I'm sure you have some lovely comments to say. Yeah, I do. Thank you. <laughs> they help make anime or like any any show or like basically anything in general possible. Without their support, they wouldn't have any more of what they love. There's reasons why there are many anime shows having um, a second season or a third season or even a movie. And it's all because of the dedicated fan base, which I which I believe mm-hmm. that is really appreciative and really special to know that there's people out there that like took their time to give out their love and support i think the that the most wonderful thing about um artwork or like just videos or even tv shows is that the best way to show your support is to sometimes simply just sit down and watch it it just take and that especially makes sense yeah it just especially makes sense on youtube like it just the it doesn't matter to me how many people we have watching it as long as as long as some people are watching it. But like when I started seeing the views go up, 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 up on Naruto, I was like, oh, my gosh, people love it. I'm surprised that people liked it. I had no confidence in the in the writing because I wrote it by myself. And uh, now that I've written the second one with Austin, I had a lot more confidence in it. And uh, I, I'm really glad that there's an audience for the stuff that we're doing because it's. It's wonderful to see that people enjoy something that you put a lot of your soul into. Mm-hmm. And that definitely applies to you, Jayan, because music is a very music is um music is definitely something that speaks. It, it has no language. It just like it, it's just sound like um like I actually went on um before um uh, like before you and I even um talked, Jayan, before we even met, I actually um went to go listen to his music and I really, really like it. And so oh, and thank you. <laughs> for those who don't know, he has I a love pa- his music. Why do you think I'm making him pump stuff out of my pump stuff out so I can work on my videos? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and yeah. um for those who don't Pump stuff out, Jayan. Oh my God. <laughs> and for those who don't know, Jayan has uh, a Patreon. Yeah I do, yeah. And yes. and um I also donated like five dollars for um because I want to show my um also show my support in some way. And what Yeah, and I appreciate it so much. <laughs> That's how you and I started I'm talking. Broke, Diane. I have no job. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's still it, it means it's seriously like you don't understand. Like when I saw that, I like jumped in uh, up and down for like like at least 2 minutes straight. I was so happy. <laughs> what was Alex uh, Was Alex the first uh pay, pay Yeah, I was the yeah. first. Oh, yeah, sweet. First one. Awesome. Five dollars each video. Amazing, seriously. Oh yeah, I switched it to a monthly though, because like I find that like if I make like four videos a month, it's gonna be twenty bucks a month. I'm like, whoa, oh, that's calm, calm down, man. <laughs> Not exactly. No, I made it monthly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah. I think that's a great way to end the podcast, unless you guys have other things to add to it. Uh, no, uh, I just thank you very much, Alex. That was very kind. I appreciate it. Uh, I actually have something I want to mention, which is actually pretty interesting. Um. The, the last podcast we made, uh, this is actually a fun fact. You guys have no idea about this. Um, I was just looking uh, at my YouTube um, like analytics the other day, okay? And we uh, th- the podcast has been watched in 22 different countries on my channel. What? Oh, wow. 22 different countries. Wait, okay? th- this and podcast? I, yeah, like the, the, one, the, really? the, the Death Note podcast on my channel. Yeah. Oh, wow. It got watched in 22 different what? countries. I've got, we got I still only from, have 19 on my channel. <laughs> Denmark... Ireland, Israel, Germany, Al- uh, Algeria, Netherlands, Bulgaria, Brazil, Finland, Japan, Pakistan, Sweden, France, Spain, United Kingdom, Australia, Mil- Malaysia, Mexico, India, Norway, United States, and Canada, of course. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> U.S. 22 US. different countries. <laughs> Damn. That's insane. Guys, this is, and, and this is like episode number five of the podcast, which, I, I mean, 
uh, you know, five five episodes. And that's you know, that's awesome. It's it's a it's a nice number. And I'm just, I'm so like I'm just that's insane. Twenty two different countries. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That is that is how I feel about it. That is it too. exactly how Giants all right. Giant how Giant said it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah, let's wrap it up. All right. Um nobody has anything else to say about uh how wonderful our fans are. We love you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. Thank you. you love and if you watched me it all the way to this, this point, you guys are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> With the copyright <laughs> strike <laughs> right <laughs> now. <laughs> Don't you say you love me too? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's nice. how I'm gonna end it. Yo, I'm I'm gonna put in an audience sound effect on that no, one. No. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Please don't! No, no. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. Let's as part of our wrap or wrap up we have the outro for everybody we'd have to just say our channel name and uh what's going on currently and uh, if we have any upcoming videos so let's start with wheel of morality turn 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 tell us who about we should learn Jayanne, you go first all right yeah sure uh very <laughs> quickly uh for me my channel once again is Jayanne music j-a-i-a-n like music Loren like uh, lorenzo music but without the lorenzo just replace it with exactly Jayanne. <laughs> exactly and uh what am i working on um i had just hit 5,000 subscribers actually and uh keo did artwork for this uh, video that i'm working on it's gonna be a, it's my very first original track giant music uh because i have all these different projects but it's the first uh, original track for my main music project which is giant music uh i the first one i'm gonna be re released in two years so i'm very excited this song it's about anti-bullying uh it's a really important song to me and i think you guys are gonna love it that's coming out very uh, soon to thank you guys for 5,000 subscribers and I just have a lot of covers and collaborations in the works vlogs uh, different uh, music and yeah that's what I'm ha what's, that's what's happening for me so um, right now I'm being stalked by the pit that is called school but when I have time I might come up with like sing a new song cover on my channel and right now I'm continuing on working on my own projects such as uh, my own Naruto abridged. Uh, yeah, and also I'm working on Naruto abridged. <laughs> you know, the best character. And I'm working on my own original projects, like um my own game, which I'm trying to um be able to organize together by planning a lot more. And yeah, I'm gonna be voicing as Haku. The cover will be a sort of a mystery, but it's also a song I really want to cover for a long time. So stay tuned for that, guys. Go over to NekoYukihime55 awesome. and just check it out. Link on the video and link in the description. <laughs> and my and there's also my Deviant art that I that I sometimes post my art in. Uh, Daydreamer Studios news. I don't do anything with the GoPro Kyo account. Um, so what's going on? His uh, Naruto bridge is in production. As soon as all the lines are in, we'll uh, get started on that. Uh, but a couple other news. We now have a brand new website, which you guys need to check out. Uh, most of the videos are still connected to YouTube. But uh, if you guys want to see some exclusive stuff about us, uh, learn a little bit more about us. We got some. Some special stuff planned for you guys. And we also have a Twitter that you guys can uh, follow us on. Uh, Austin is posting a little more frequently now. <laughs> He's posting pictures of us like before videos go up and everything. And you can also follow us on Facebook. And we've got some more social media pending. <laughs> All right. Now, before we say our goodbyes, I would like to recommend to you guys a anime. Um, this is sort of a stock anime, but it is actually very, very fun to watch, despite it is... <laughs> Here's another con we should have mentioned. Yu-Gi-Oh GX, Yu GX, man. Yu-Gi-Oh GX. It's, a, it's Yu Gi Oh GX. I just oh know it. I, I know. I just know it. <laughs> I just know it. I can just it's tell. I just, I just know. I just know it. Can I say my recommendation? I, I'm, I'm so sure. <laughs> yeah, well, you just, I just said it. It's Yu Gi Oh GX. I just, I just know it. I just know it's that. <laughs> All right, well, the anime that I am suggesting you guys should check out is Ikitosen. You can find it on the anime corner store which i will leave a link for you guys also in the description you can also watch it on netflix if you have the streaming um or you can just do what jayan does and uh pirate it off pirate it bay like everyone else i do not do that okay <laughs> show some I'm support kidding, man 
Dedicated fan bases. What happened to that? Cheyenne, I care you know, for we, you. We're so I dedicated. You. We, we don't support pirating. We're so dedicated. Okay? We're gonna pirate it ourselves. Yeah. Like man. for example, I. Like for example, yeah. I. No. Freaking no, uh, like, do not do that. My favorite show. I. I just bought the like box set, the limited edition. That's how I show my freaking support. <laughs> I wish I could high five you right now, Diane. Yeah. Right on. All right. Well. If you guys have anything else to have nothing else to add, uh, this is where we say our goodbyes. Take care, guys. Longest episode ever. No, I'm kidding. It actually is. Uh, this sorry, is our no, longest sorry, what episode I meant to so say, far. Yeah, sorry. That's what I meant. I meant it not like a... Yeah, this hey, is the bye longest bye, episode guys. we've done so far. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking us out. All right. Peace. We'll see you next see time. See you, Space Cowboys. Bye, dreamers. Peace.